Welcome to Touch Technology Review today. We're going to be taking a look at Zencaster, which is an online podcasting solution. It's going to allow you to incorporate multiple guests in different locations into a single podcast session. You can do it all online and it's very easy to use. Before we go ahead and check it out, a couple of things to note about Zencaster. First of all, there is a free plan. So if you don't want to commit to it and you just want to check it out, head over to Zencaster's website. I'll leave a link on screen and in the description box below sign up for a free plan and this will give you access to eight hours of recording and also allow you to bring in two guests into your podcast if you want to go beyond that you can actually sign up for one of their paid plans and that will give you more recording hours per month and of course the option to invite more than one guest into the session so let's go ahead and check out how Zencaster works Okay, so the first thing to note about Zencaster is that at this stage, it's only compatible on desktop or laptop computers, or if you have something like a Microsoft Surface tablet, it's not yet available for iOS devices or Android devices. So you'll need to ensure when you're sharing your links around that your guests actually have a desktop or laptop computer or a suitable device running a full operating system. Also, it's not compatible on browsers like Safari. It'll need either Firefox or Chrome. So just a quick note about compatibility there before you get started. Once you've got that out of the way, all you need to do to use Zencaster is go to their website, zencaster.com, create a login. As I mentioned, you can access a free account if you just want to test it out. And that will give you that eight hours of recording time and allow you to invite one further guest with a total of two guests on the podcast. So once you get to Zencaster.com, simply log in and it will take a matter of seconds to take you to the dashboard. And once you're in there, simply create a new podcast session and within a matter of seconds, it will set up that session for you and run a quick health check on the audio. Now for this particular demonstration, I'm just using the built-in audio of my MacBook Pro, which sounds fine. If I was going to be running this as an actual series of podcasts, I'd probably go to the extent of connecting a microphone to my laptop to ensure that the audio is of optimum quality. Quite often your guests may not have access to a microphone, so they'll probably just record into their computer's speaker which really is still quite adequate. So to get started, all you need to do is click on the invite icon and then forward that link on using your email or messaging app. And once your podcast guest receives the link, they can open it up on a laptop computer or desktop, or as I mentioned earlier, something like a Microsoft Surface device. And they'll then be presented with a very similar dashboard to what you're seeing on screen now. They'll see a audio file with their own name on it. And then they'll also be asked to run a health check. And uh, once it tests the audio is working okay, it will pretty much be ready to go. So from your point of view, running the podcast, when you want to get started, all you need to do is press start recording on the left hand side there and your podcast will commence. You also noticed a chat box at the lower portion of the screen, which allows you to have a chat with your podcast guest, which is great for setting up your next question or asking questions offline without having it to interfere with your podcast. Now, when you're ready to go, if you want to use the post-production capability of Zencaster, you'll only get a number of slots per month that you can use before you'll be asked to upgrade to a paid plan, which uh, allows you to pretty much send both files to the server, be mastered for audio so that all the noise is removed and the vocals are enhanced, and the file will be merged together as one final podcast session. Now, if you've only got the free version like I have, once again, your best option there is just to download those two audio files and do it yourself. But if you're serious about podcasting with guests at different locations, it's probably worth looking at one of the paid plans so you can take advantage of these additional features. Now, keeping in mind, the only downside with Zencaster is that you're relying on the broadband connectivity being adequate at both ends to give you a good audio file for each podcast member. So I've tested it extensively locally here on both a fixed landline connection and mobile 4G, and the results were quite pleasing. But keep in mind that you could have issues with lag, delay, 
etc. Now Zencaster does accommodate a certain amount of lag and will rebuffer and restart the stream if you have any issues. However, you can imagine if the, if the podcast is very critical that you can't lose that recording, you might want to consider a backup plan and record your own version of the audio coming into your computer via external means. Now, that's probably something for another demonstration, and I might bring that up in a future demonstration how-to video. And in fact, I might even bring up a few more videos about podcasting in general and the type of technology you can use to get the best results. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit me up with a like and subscribe to the channel, and you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. Also, I'm planning to roll out a number of podcasts on the channel in 2018. And if you've got any topics you'd like me to cover in the area of technology, even things that are slightly outside of the box of what I'm normally covering in this channel, the podcast is going to be an ideal forum for me to cover those issues with you. I've had a few people talk to me about cryptocurrency lately, so I'm going to be bringing in a few special guests in that area, and we're gonna be looking specifically at the technology surrounding the blockchain. So that's gonna be really interesting content coming up in some up and coming podcasts. So if you've got any content you want me to cover, don't forget to put that in the comments box below. See you on the next video, bye for now.